हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ बी आई टेक अकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज रतुल योर होस्ट फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज मैक्रो इन एम एस एक्सएल वी विल यूज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव विथ इन वीडियो स्क्रीन रीडर इन विंडोज इलेवन आई थिंक यू ऑलरेडी हर्ड अबाउट मैक्रो बट You don't know how to do macro in MS Excel using screen reader. Okay. Keep watching this video till the end so you will able to do macro in your Excel. Now let's discuss about what is macro. Macro is a powerful feature of MS Excel which uh, helps you to record your tasks and you can easily use your repetitive uh tasks easily okay let me give you an example let's suppose here i have created one blank excel file a one b1 a one now this is our order form okay here i want to write like order id item quantity price etc etc and then i will enter the data now let's suppose today i create this form i enter the data that's okay again tomorrow when i will come when i require to need i mean i need this form again so what i need to do i need to again open like i can open this or copy this and paste this instead of that we can record all of these tasks and save it as a uh, macro workbook yes and we can use that macro and all the tasks which we have done will be automatically taken by the ms excel so this is the use of macro next is how you can start recording and how you can record macro before recording macro you have to enable a developer mode okay if you are using 2019 or earlier version of ms excel so you will get this macro option from uh, a review tab okay so sorry view tab i think yes view tab otherwise review tab but i am recommending you to use developer mode so first let's see how we can enable the developer mode developer mode is by default it is uh, disabled okay so you need to enable this to enable this open any excel file and go to file menu then options file list home alt f i'm pressing up arrow to go to options back to options alt f t press enter 14 Excel options dialog general options for working with Excel general options for working with Excel use LinkedIn features in office to stay Okay so now I'm just using down arrow until I reach customized ribbon form data proofing save language access advanced data customize ribbon 9 of 12 Okay next I'm pressing tab until I reach to the uh, required options I'll tell you choose commands from available to add greater great customize the ribbon combo box main apps collapse alt plus b ribbon tree view home check the see this tree view one. here you will find all the tabs which are enabled and disabled so press down arrow down arrow to check home is checked now pressing down arrow level 2 clipboard collapse clipboard Font collapse okay. level 2 clip level insert check collapse see, level 1 insert is checked Draw not check draw level one. Not check. So if you want the draw tab, you can check this box. Page check. layout check. Collapse Page layout. Level. Formulas check. Okay, collapse. Formulas. Data check. Collapse. Level one. Datas. Review check. Collapse. Level one. Review. View check. Collapse. View. Level. Automate check. Collapse. Automate. Developer check. Develop. Level one. See. Oh, developer check. Collapse. Level one. In my case, it is checked. But in your case, by default, it is not checked. So you need to check this box. Check or this option should be checked. After checking this box check just press tab until you hear the okay button. New tab new group rename reset the import move up move now okay button. Okay click on okay button. So once you click on okay button Order. the developer mode will be enabled. I hope you learned this. So if yes type chat in the yes. Okay chat means comment section. Okay. Now uh let's learn how we can start recording. So to start recording of macro we should go to the developer tab to go to the developer tab you can use your upper ribbon 
और एक्सेस की विच इज ऑल्ट प्लस एल सो लेट मी प्रेस दैट की ओके मैक्रो टू वाई बिकॉज मैक्रो वन इज ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड हियर ओके सो इफ आई वॉन्ट आई कैन डिलीट द मैक्रो और इफ आई डोंट वॉन्ट आई कैन डिलीट आई कैन कीप इट सो हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट आई जस्ट कीप इट लाइक मैक्रो टू मैक्रो वन आई एम नॉट डूइंग मैक्रो टू आई एम डूइंग आई एम कीपिंग एज इट इज ओके नाउ एम प्रेसिंग टैब शॉर्टकट की so here you need to type a key like let's suppose type a letter j k whatever and control will be automatically assigned with that okay that will be used to play the macro play when you should play i'll tell you so let's suppose i use j hmm? control j okay so now i'm pressing tab again j record macro dialog ctrl plus store macro in combo box personal macro workbook yeah, this is very important store macro in so where you want to store if you want to use this macro universally universally means any workbook then select this option personal workbook if you want to use only this workbook press down arrow store macro in combo box new workbook new workbook so it will be stored in new workbook this workbook, this workbook. It, it will be stored in this workbook new personal macro so i'm workbook. choosing personal macro workbook description edit multi line so here you can line. write some description if you want okay i'm just using a sample, sample. two two okay record macro dialog ctrl plus okay button so once you click an okay button your recording will be start recording means nothing like screen recording audio recording etc after click on the okay button whatever perform whatever task you will perform in your excel sheet that will be recorded so let's press enter here order form macro dot xlsx excel sheet one table and a macro one, is started a one, B a one, now let's suppose i one. create this uh, order form or delivery so let's suppose i just type um serial number or like yeah serial number sl now l l sl no a1 b1 and then in b1 i type item sheet one item b c1 then i type uh, price L sorry quantity uh, price per unit sorry right per sheet price d1 then i type quantity L quantity 1 then i type grand total L grand Sheet grand total okay, one. Okay, I'm not doing anything. SL no A one. So below SL no. A two. Let's suppose here I want to apply the fill series. Okay. Edit one. So let me apply this. Sheet one one the two. Those who don't know about the fill series, please watch our previous videos. Visit our advanced section for visually impaired playlist. So there you can check. We have already thirty videos there. More than thirty videos. A two one through A one million forty eight thousand five. So let me do this. Series dialog. Step stop value. One okay. Cancel but columns ready. Can okay but order form macro. See, I have applied the series order in Excel. One two. One two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten ten etc. No item B one B two. And below item, I will write the item's name that I am not doing right now. Below price, I will enter the price below. Okay, but here what I do, I will add the I will do the conditional formatting, which means. I'll add the INR sign here. Okay, so right C two C two. So let me select from C two to C one hundred one. Go to dial C two colon C num lock one zero one. Order form macro dot xlsx excel sheet one table C two through C one hundred one selected row two through one hundred one. Okay, I have selected. Three. Now, what I need to do is so next I just go to the conditional formatting using Control one. Format cells dialog. And General here, format cells have no specific number format. format here, I just choose the conditional formatting like uh, rupee. Current account date. A current decimal places. Edit alt plus D blank. Zero line zero line line. Format cells dialog. Okay. Currency form. Mm, I 
Ayana. I and our list R negative number. Okay button. So click on OK. Order form macro dot XLSX price per unit. So C1. that's I done. Quantity D1. Okay, next in quantity D2. I'll write the price. Qu grand total okay. E1. Then what is what is E2. the grand total? In E2, I should apply a formula, right? Like quantity into price. Sorry, price into quantity. Okay, I'm turning everything opposite. Grand E2. Okay, let me type the formula here. Edit blank. Okay. So E2 means C2 into D2 equals C2 C2 into D2. C I N R zero as formula E two. See right now I N R zero. D two. I N R zero as formula E F I D two. Okay, I N R is I already F2. already added. Okay. I N R zero as formula E two. Now I just uh do this. E I just do using the drag and drop. Fill down. Quick okay. analysis. Grand I N R I N I N I I grand total E one. I N D two C two. So everything is done. Now I just created whatever I want. I just create. Okay. Next, I need to save it. Just I'm just saving it here. Save. So it's saved, right? But the macro will not work until unless I will not stop the recording. The macro, the recording is started, right? Now I need to go to the A2 cell because one or two, two or three, yeah, one or two. because because in the uh, next workbook I want to my focus will be on A2. So after coming this, I need to stop that. So to stop recording, go to that developer tab again. Ribbon tab, tab, and press tab and until the stop recording. Comma, share, develop, macro, stop recording button off. Sheet one table, one or two. Now again I'm saving this. Save. Still the macro is did not save. Yes, still the macro did not save. Okay. Guys, uh, if you're watching till now, which means you want to learn this macro, please like the video and share the video because uh this is very hard work like turning off the fan and rec uh, recording the video during this uh, seasons some hot seasons it's very hard for us so please keep liking the video and sharing the video okay okay let's come back to the video so guys now we have successfully record our macro and our key is assigned control j now we'll save it so Let's press F12 to go to save as. Save as dialog. File name. I keep it as it is. Collapsed. Now I'm pressing tab. Save as type. Combo box Excel workbook. Start on no. XLSX. Collapsed alt plus T. From here I should choose XLSM. I'm pressing down arrow. Expanded. Save as type. List. Excel macro enabled workbook. Start on XLSM. Okay. Excel macro enabled workbook. This should be selected. So let me save it. Confirm save as dialog order form macro dot xlsx already exists. Do you want to replace yes, it? I want to yes, but no yes pressed. Okay, now I have successfully replaced it. Now I just take a new document, I just close it. Let me close it. Microsoft Excel sheet one. Okay, save it. Let me close it. Save Microsoft Excel dialog. Do you want to cancel the save button alt ops 30 po Okay, now I'll open another Excel. Run select folder view list excel home grouping new group book one excel sheet one table a one now here i just play with that macro let's end, uh, use control j just wait for few seconds now see sl no a1 serial number is there one, a two, a three, three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, a nine okay it's there sl item b1 item is there price per unit price per unit c2 Okay. Price quantity D2. Quantity Quant zero as formula E2. Zero is there. Total overflow zero as formula okay. E D C2 B2 item B1 SL no A1. So item let's B2. suppose I type one item like uh, orange. Edit up. C2 price I S. Okay, let me turn on this one. one. Orange B2 I C2 price per unit. So price per unit let's suppose five, five. rupees. C1 table D2 quantity. So quantity is twenty rupees and C. This C is the answer. C1 table one hundred as formula E2 grand total. So this is the answer. 20 D2 quantity, INR5 C2 price per unit. See, this or INR5 C2 INR price is there. Per unit. INR means where we uh, use this formula Orange is there. B2 formula INR. means conditional formatting. B3. Next, I'll do, let's suppose I'll do mango. Max C3 price per unit. 13 rupees. Sheet 1 table, D3 quantity. And quantity is 15 rupees. Sheet 1 table, 195 as formula E3 grand total. Wow, that's fine. 
so in that way i can just use just one shortcut key and perform lot of task whatever task i recorded as a macro and i can perform the task anywhere in our sheet whatever wherever i want so this way you can uh, save lot of time to generate reports and whatever task you need to perform daily 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 repetitively okay you can save it as a macro and this is a very very useful feature of ms excel i hope you understood the feature still if you doubts you can ask in the comment section and let me know how this feature helps you in your daily life in the comment section the best comment will be pinned into our comment uh, section okay so that's it guys for this tutorial if you like this video like the video share the video and keep watching all of our videos stay tuned because we always upload interesting tutorials for you thank you so much bye bye